New Home Ministries is and has always been a church of faith and prayer. And under the leadership of the late Robert Charles Blake Sr., which was the founder of this ministry, uh, this church has always been just that, a church of fire. As a young woman, you know, I can remember the prophet, you know, like she said, when he took over as pastor. You know, they used to call it the uh, little church with a lot of fire. You know, because he was a, a great preacher. When I came to on Broad Street, it was something different. I didn't know what it was, but it was something different about it. I can remember uh, his office. He had an office that was so small, you know, and um, when he got ready to come out of his office, you know, the people was all around, all around the walls. It was so packed in there that you had to go early to get a seat. I mean, the church just blew up all at once. It was, you know, it was exciting. You know, it was exciting to go to church. Sometimes if you got there late, you had to sit almost in the window seal. But it was so powerful because pastor was such an anointed man even at that time. They had a sign on the door because they was getting ready to foreclose on the church. But I can remember, you know, as a, as a young woman, the night he was elected, I didn't go. Uh, and it was two, two pastors, two uh, preachers, you know, but they, they elected him. That's the way they used to do a long time in the churches, you know. He saved the church, he really did. And um, the church, start changing, the church itself start growing. And when we moved from the church on Jackson Avenue, the Holy Spirit empowered him in such a way, hallelujah. He was empowered in such a way. And he made the move to Broad Street. And this is when the change came in his life. And when that change came in his life, it changed our lives. And he lost a lot of his friends because they used to say he was crazy. You know, especially when he told us that he was a prophet. People talk, it hurt him. He shared with me, yeah, it hurt him. He said, but he, I know who called me. God called me. God put his hands on me. People would turn them on the side because they didn't understand this new movement, but it was not a new movement. It was just a man allowing the Holy Spirit to come in and take total control. Well, you know, we learned that uh, you could say you're a prophet all day, you know, but a prophet comes with signs and wonders. And so we didn't just hear him say he was a prophet. We saw we saw the signs and wonders. His life was, his life had changed, and we as mem members seen how his life had changed and how he had a, a glow on him and he had been in the presence of God. So he didn't just say he was a prophet, we experienced the move of a prophet. I just thank God for this church because I don't really wouldn't know where I would be if I wasn't here. It was a place that God had this time for me to be here. This is where my delivering came through this church. I can remember Pastor Sam and Pastor Bob as little boys, you know, as babies. And the exciting thing for me is to see the work that they are doing now. They have the mantle that came from their father on them. And everything is going according to the plan and purpose that God had for this ministry. It's flowing. Prayer and faith is the foundation of this ministry. And when you pray and have faith, everything comes together. 
everything comes together